Ever since we were kids, we've heard the saying practice makes perfect. Whether it was by a coach playing basketball or by a teacher when you got the math question wrong. Whenever it was, we almost all have heard it before. But is it really true? How important it really is practice? I'm Jason Sosa, aka No Limit Jason, and I want to talk about how practice and the idea of practice makes perfect has really transformed my life. For the past about month and a half, I've been reading, meditating, journaling, taking cold showers, you know, all the stereotypical self-improvement habits. I found all these habits to be very impactful for my mental health and for my mental clarity and just allowing me to get more things done. I've really only been this disciplined as of recently. I've been trying to implement these habits into my life for maybe three, four years, but for some reason, I just never got them to stick. The reason why I think it was so hard for me to stick to these habits was I just sucked at them. I can't tell you how many times I've opened up a book expecting to read 30, 40 pages just to have my mind wondering every three words. The problem was I hadn't really done these habits in a long time or ever, yet I expected myself to do them at a high level consistently. So to fight this issue, I decided to make a habit tracker and check off every single time I did one of these habits. I had done this a million times before and it never really worked. I never stayed consistent with it. I decided to just check something off the checklist no matter what as long as I did the bare minimum, as long as I opened up the book. Whether I read three pages or 30 pages, I would check it off the checklist. This type of mindset is what really helped me kind of stay focused with my goals and actually show up. This type of mindset is what really allowed me to stay consistent with my goals. Having not read in years, trying to get myself to read 30 pages after a long day seems like an impossible task, but three pages seems pretty doable. You'll make more progress by barely showing up to practice than not showing up at all. Instilling some humility in myself and not setting expectations that were way too high for the level that I was at is really what allowed me to stay consistent and to keep doing the habits every day. Another example of this is with journaling. Journaling is something that I picked up because it really helps my mental health and mental clarity, letting me spill out all the ideas that I have in my head. And being a broke college student, it's a pretty hard job. But if we take a look at even a couple months ago, I was barely writing three bullet points a day. Just a couple goals and things that I was grateful for but it didn't really matter because I was writing. Fast forward to today, I write a page consistently every day. And sometimes I'll even do a couple when I feel like going deep into a topic. Being consistent is what helped me transform my body, grow my businesses and get better grades. Just showing up, small continuous efforts really contribute to something great at the end. So really, practice doesn't make perfect, it makes better. This is a pretty cliche ending, but it's true. You can't be a better basketball player without going to the gym. You can't be a better rapper without going to the studio. The best way to really get good at something is to do it over and over again. So when you have a new goal to tackle, stop worrying about the outputs you're gonna produce. And it's okay to be a beginner and it's okay to start from small. The most important part is just to show up. The more you show up, the more experience you'll get and the better you'll get at what you're doing. Repetition is the father of learning. That's pretty much all I wanted to say for this video. Um, kinda wanted to mess with the editing a little bit, just have a little fun, some ideas I had in my head. Um, uh, I wink a lot when I'm like, <laughs> Um, yeah, just some ideas I had in my head and I wanted to play with the editing and take a look at the merch It's pretty fire guys. Pretty pretty drippy if I do say so myself. Look at the fit Oof. The sweatpants with the rewrite history Yo, no limit. Hold up. I don't know if you can see that Oh, y'all just saw some booty butts Yeah, no limit in the back Pretty fire. This is gonna be the last uh, rewrite history drop. So whoever wants to check that out do it it's fire it's never coming back we have some pretty cool ideas for what we want to do in the future and especially in the summer and summer clothing and all that stuff you know it's gonna be yeah we got some something cooking up not gonna lie but that's what's sitting right there that's been bothering me the whole time if you guys want to take a look got like a mountain of hoodies we even got some hats and they say no limit on the back too pretty fire i'm just not a not really a hat guy it doesn't look good on me <laughs> but stupid fire we also have some beanies like i said i'm not i, I have a weird forehead placement so these things don't look good on me but right history no limit on the back it's dummy fire <laughs> uh yeah here you take that's the cardinal red right history yeah i gotta look through them make sure there's not any defects so that we can take it back to the supplier and yeah i hope y'all don't see our board over there but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and with that being said play that